back here with another video on Ron Brown's YouTube channel. We cover a lot of uh, drones and drone gear. And, uh, you know, also, you know, we try to do, get some, you know, test flights in here. And today is one such test flight. And, you know, we're back here with one of our, um, you know, um, kind of a forgotten drone. This is the DJI uh, Mavic 3 with a fancy, um, you know, uh, a gimbal protector on it, strap. And uh, why I say forgotten is, you know, all the talk now is about the new DJI Avada drone and, of course, the DJI Mini 3 drone. Of course, we got the Altel drones, the Nano and the Light Plus. But um, I want to get back to um, a drone that came out at the end of 2021 uh, in November during the uh, spin-up event in Austin, Texas. But uh, it's still one of my favorite drones. And um, I took it out for a flight at a place called Sunset Beach. It can't, it can't be a place called Sunset Beach, right? And Sunset Beach is located on, I'm reading up my notes here, on the, on, in the Cape May Peninsula. That's the very bottom of New Jersey. And uh, it's near the uh, Cape May Point and it's uh, located on the Delaware Bay. So it's not the ocean side of New Jersey, it's the bay side, which eventually, you know, uh, turns into the, like, Delaware River and goes all the way to Philadelphia. But, um... It's also a great spot for sunsets because, of course, the sun, you know, it's a wide enough body of water there that looks like the, you know, the sun sets over the ocean or, the, or in this case, the bay. So, um, and, you know, we got down there at, uh, you know, uh, about an hour before sunset, waiting for the thing to happen. You know, not only did I, fly, you know, fly the Mavic 3, but I also flew it with the world's greatest smart controller, the DJI RC Pro controller with the... Uh, the bright thousand nit screen and you know all the built-in uh, apps and so on like this all the bells and whistles all the ports you need on the bottom and built-in memory card and antennas so I mean, this thing is a you know a pleasure to fly with and it, it teams perfectly with the uh, dji mavic 3 now um uh, the, the just a couple of facts before we roll the video here um you know, uh, Sunset Beach is uh, Class G airspace. Uh, it was no, no temporary temporary flight restriction that day. Now the next day there was because uh, as a presidential uh, uh, flight restriction in effect, but not not, not that day. I flew it on Thursday, and then the uh, flight restriction was on Friday. It's always a good check. I use it before you fly app. So, um, there's a couple of things to look for in the video. Um, at one point, we fly over the SS Atlantis. It's a, it's known as the concrete ship. It was in service during one of the wars, World War II, World War I, I'm not sure. And it's kind of uh, mostly submerged now under the ocean. But uh, some of it sticks out. It seems to be a popular place for the uh, birds to uh, sit and hang around on. So I kind of stayed way above not to, not to bother the uh, wildlife in the area here. And also you'll get a view of the famous Cape May Lighthouse. I don't get real close to it. I, I've been close to it in other videos. You can check my channel and maybe I'll highlight them in here someplace uh, down below, top someplace. And um, also we take a look at um, a, a place called... Um, Higby Beach, which is a little bit north of, uh, of Sunset Beach, and there's a water tower there and an old World War II kind of relic uh, observation cement uh, tower. So you'll see all that in the video. So let's, let's roll the video and then we'll come back at the end with a little bit of a conclusion. So roll that video. Hello uh, everyone, we're out here at uh, Sunset Beach here in beautiful South Jersey here. This is actually not the ocean, this is the kind of Bayside, Riverside, uh, the uh, peninsula down here in South Jersey. Um, and this, I believe, is the Cape May Ferry, which goes from Cape May to, to Lewis, Delaware. It takes about an hour to cross the um, the river at this point. Uh, river Bay, I don't know the technical term, but uh, you see the kind of, you got the sunset going here, making that uh, stream of light, you know, coming across here. We're flying the Mavic 3 here, and you can see I'm zooming in. Now I have the explore mode turned on on the Mavic 3 so um, you see me trying to get the proper um, you know uh, focal length there uh, as the boat approaches uh, you know that sunlight's going to be cool when it goes through that sorry it's just a silhouette silhouette but uh, you know when you're facing uh, a camera towards a bright light source like this um, that's going to happen but it's still kind of cool looking and uh, you know it's great that the Mavic 3 has that uh, explore mode um, you know going for it where it can um, you know, really zoom in when you need to. Uh, you know, of course, that a loss of uh, quality, but, 
you know, for this shot, it doesn't matter. Here it's going right through that, uh, you know, the light that's created by the sun as it's, uh, you know, uh, crossing through there. So that's pretty cool, really. Uh, and I'm really not that close to the boat. You know, I'm, the Mavic 3 is pretty pretty far away. Okay, so here I'm ter here's how far away I am. I turned the Mavic 3 around, and we're looking back to the shoreline. You know where I'm at here. So we're flying back uh, you know, towards Sunset Beach. You can see the sunken ship there. That is the SS Atlantis. It's a uh, concrete um, uh, military vehicle from, uh, I believe, World War II or maybe even before. Um, I'll put a link in or something like that, give you more history on it here. So um, I'm, I'm still pretty high here. I'm zo using the zoom to get in because... Uh, the birds love that thing while, you know, birds are all over it. So I'm trying to stay at least 200 feet up, this, you know, so I don't cause the birds any, uh, you know, scare them and make them fly away. So I'll use the zoom to get a little bit closer. You can see the birds sing on it now. This is kind of a wildlife thing. You can see them flying away there. Wasn't me that scared them. I, I don't think they knew I was there. I stayed pretty darn high. See, I'm backing away and we're looking towards Sunset Beach. And we're actually looking kind of north uh, the direction. So you can see Higby Beach is a little bit... Um, you know, beyond us. Here we're coming back again, again. Mavic three. We said we're we're pretty high. We're like two hundred feet or better at, at this point, and we're flying with a um, an ND sixteen uh, filter on here. You know, so keep the shutter somewhat under under control here. Um, and we're going right over that concrete uh, ship there. I know it sounds funny to say concrete ship, but uh, you know it is what it is, right? So. Um, yeah, beautiful day here. Unfortunately, I don't have those nice clouds in the sky. It's kind of a clear blue sky. And you can see the water tower. I believe that's the water tower, uh, you know, far away. And Okay, I'm, I'm going towards you know, the main part of Sunset Beach. Here. You can see the people on the beach. And uh, that one bigger building there is like a, a, a store with uh, knickknacks. And there's that kind of, you can see like a, a bathhouse, I guess. Okay, now I'm going down towards Hegby Beach here, going along kind of a... You know, an isolated beach here, you know, pretty cool. And you can see it's real rustic back there. You know, a lot of trees and, and bushes and so on. There's some inland water there. And uh, we're going to go down here just a bit here. I, we won't go all the way down to the uh, ferry station, but we'll try to get you a look at it here. So, again, I'm up 200 feet or above, trying not to disturb anybody or anything, any wildlife that may be down there flying around. So you can see this is a spot here where sort of the the, uh, the waterway, the river here, uh, meets the um, inland water, you know, and you see it's kind of a treacherous there. And there's kind of remnants of maybe like a pier or something at some point. You can see that that structure there. And if you look, if you saw out a little bit, it looks like some posts sticking up. So maybe there was some kind of a pier or something there at one point. But uh, obviously it's a relic at this point. It looks like you can kind of maybe walk through there, but not too easily because that water looks a little rough. You know, the water connects from the uh, ocean to the... Uh, the inland there, or not really the ocean. It's a, probably a mixture of salt water and fresh water here. Um, so, okay, here we, we're looking down. If you can look all the way down there, you can see another inland waterway there, and that's where the ferry boat uh, uh, comes in, in the ferry boat that I told you, the Cape May Ferry that goes from Cape May to uh, Lewis, Delaware. So here you see some sandy, you know, sandy area here, you know, a lot of shrub, green shrubbery and sand and now I flip the camera completely around and we're flying back the direction that we came. You can see how how much inland water there is there. You know, it's almost like the salt marshes you see, you know, uh, between the barrier islands and the mainland at this point. So uh, Cape May is on the other side of this peninsula. Um, you know, the famous uh, Cape May, New Jersey, kind of a historic town. It's about 10, 10, 15 minutes from this location here. Not far at all. You know, you hit a little traffic, not a straight, not a straight shot over there. But uh, okay, we're coming back to that water tower that I um, mentioned. Earlier. You can see I'm really high. I'm over 200, you know, 200, 250 feet up in the air at this point. So getting a real bird's eye view. And uh, okay, we've arrived at the water tower here, and we'll do a little, little manual orbit around here. Um, I, I could have done a, um, you know, what do you call it, the, um, the feature active track, you know, the, the suite of things there but i'm just going to do it manually here i don't need like a perfect orbit here just giving you a look here and uh here we're approaching one of those uh these are these towers that they used i believe in world war ii or and maybe world war one to spot german u-boats uh and this would have been a place where they would come all the way up this river here 
this inland waterway here would take you eventually all the way to Philadelphia if you followed it. So this was an important spot. So here we do a little bit of a manual orbit again here. Um, again, you can see all the sand down there. This is a real mix of sand and, uh, you know, shrubs here. So kind of an interesting area. And you can see a parking lot to your, your, your left over there. So I still have the, the Mavic uh, 3 still very high. I'm using the zoom to make it look like I'm closer, but I'm still you know, to the 250 feet up in the air. So in case anybody was around, I'd, again, not disturbing anybody. This was Class G airspace. I was totally allowed to fly here. Uh, there were no flight restrictions. Okay, now here's the Cape, here's the Cape May Lighthouse. In the distance, I'm using a little zoom there to uh, get a little bit closer to it. That boat, that could be a, another Cape May ferry boat, uh, you know, coming by there. And if you look to the extreme left, you see like a building on the beach. That's another... Um, Kind of a World War II remnant that was sort of like a compound. Um, not going to get too close to give you a better look here, but uh, but yeah, I was saying this is um, this is Class G airspace. There were no flight restrictions, but 24 hours from the time I flew this, there was a presidential um, flight restriction. I guess uh, Joe Biden was coming in either to Philadelphia, or Wilmington, which it doesn't seem like it's anywhere as close to this, but, you know, by, you know, as the crow flies, it's, uh, you know, within the flight restrictions. But uh, today I was good to go. And actually where there's the Cape May uh, Lighthouse here, it has a little park. And that park, you're not allowed to fly, uh, you know, in that park. They're not the FFA doesn't say you can fly there, but they have signs up about no, no drones in that little park there. So, um, you know, we will not fly in the park, over the park, uh, I was using zoom up. Did you see those birds going by? I must have disturbed some birds somewhere, even though I'm really high. So let's put in sport mode. Let's just back out of here, really back up and go high to get away from those birds. Uh, again, I don't know where they were. Maybe they were over that water there. So maybe that little aisle in the middle of that water, maybe that's where they live. But anyhow, I must either I just flew into a flock of them by accident or I disturbed them and they came up the send me away so again we, we we've got away from them now they obviously don't care now i must have been flying right over an area they did care so you know it's good just to um you know get out of town as quick as you can in those uh, those incidents so here we go again here's the sun it's even setting more we got the again i think that's cape may ferry um you know i'm not 100 po percent positive going along there so it went right through the, the sun there which is cool and you can see the um you know, the, the sunken ship there, uh, real small there, but there it is. And that green little dot there, that's the reflection of the, um, you know, the sun on, on the camera lens. It happens. Uh, it's nothing you could do in a photo. You could just erase that out of there. It's kind of hard to get rid of in a video, but uh, that's what it is. Um, and I had an ND filter, and so I maybe even caused a little extra reflection, but I doubt it. I think it would have been there regardless. So, um, yeah, the boat's going here. So beautiful, you know, sunset there. I mean, I don't have those dramatic clouds to really give it any kind of special colors or, you know, like dramatic red colors or anything like that. But it's still kind of cool to look at like this, um, you know, and I'm way up there, you know, a couple couple hundred feet up again here. And we're going to end here with a little little hyperlapse I did. Uh, you know, I'm, I back away here, get over land, and then I do like a hyperlapse where I'm moving slowly, you know, towards the water. And um, I don't get it all the way going down. I should have started a hyperlapse just a few seconds, but, uh, you know, enjoy the hyperlapse. you enjoyed that video uh just a couple of notes here i want to throw in there um uh one of the reasons i did choose the uh mavic 3 was it was a little bit windy that day it wasn't beyond what uh you uav forecast said you could fly but it was right on the edge of advise you not to fly so i did notice some um some high winds up there at, if you at the end of the video when i had that time lapse you could see near the end of the time lapse it, it, it seems to wobble a little bit and that must have been the wind affecting because i was up you know 200 feet or or better at that point so you, you can even see the wind effect on a drone like the maverick 3 which is a wind you know just a beast in the wind uh, much better than say the mini 3 uh, a drone but even it got affected a little bit i think in in that video in the time lapse again you can see it so um but anyhow that that's why i, I chose i've been flying that you know mini three a lot this summer still kind of tested out it kind of is a kind of a good little travel drone but uh, I, I was aware of the wind before i left so i, I took the took both drones but you know I, I made the decision to fly with the uh, 
you know, with the Mavic 3. Now, um, I, I, I was in 4K, 30 frames per second, and I chose not to go into 60 because I wanted to use the zoom feature. At many points in the video, when you see me, it looks like I get close to like the um, the SS Atlantis sticking out. I wasn't close at all. I, I had it in explore mode, and I was zooming in. Also, when I was kind of doing an orbit, uh, the uh, World War II observation tower looked like I got low and close. I did not. I was still high up. That was mostly all zoom. So, and even when I was flying towards the um, the the lighthouse, the uh, Cape May lighthouse, I, I wasn't as close as I looked. It was mostly zoomed in. Now, the Cape May lighthouse, you, um, I think I mentioned in the video that you, you know, you can't take off from the property there, but it's not a no-fly zone or anything like that, but I, I did not get that close to it. I was it was all zoomed in so uh just a couple of, uh, of notes there you know technical notes um trying to think of something else i wanted to throw in there and techno i took a bunch of pictures and i'll i'll make it maybe make another video where i throw uh some of the uh you know the photos i took in i you know i used uh you know i used the zoom on some of them so uh but also I did not use the zoom so I could take bracketed, um, you know, high definition photos and all. I'll blend them, probably blend them in some HDRs and see if I got anything good. Now, um, you know, I, I, I just should have waited just a little bit longer than I did uh, to take off the final time. I wish I had got the sun going down a little bit more on the hyperlapse in the last bit of video. But, um, you know, I had another battery with some juice in it, but by that time, uh, when I first pulled up there, there was only a few cars around, but I mean, like, the parking lot got jammed uh, near the near the end. I mean, everybody knew exactly when to come out for the sunset. So I, once I brought it down, I just wanted to, you know, get it uh, packed up and back in the car before, you know, everybody left. Because as soon as the sun went down, there's like a mass exit. It's almost like a, a football game or a sporting event ends or whatever. I did not want to get caught trying to land it with a million people walking by and driving by and so and so I just you know got it down packed it away and you know called it a day but you know I, I, I've been to this location before and, and I'll get back there again so again if you've ever come to South Jersey uh, uh stop over there they have a couple gift shops they have like a like a little it's like a little restaurant but I'm mean, a little restaurant it's more like they it's almost like ice cream and burger stand they have a couple things like burgers and, and ice cream, but they, you know, it, it's nice, you, good view of the ocean, of the, of the bay there, actually, a nice gift shop where you can uh, buy the, what they call them, the uh, Cape May Diamonds, uh, which are just kind of clear, clear quartz crystals that you can find, you know, they say easily along the beach, well, it's not that easy or whatever, and so if you're a tourist and you can't find any, just go in the gift shop and they'll have some polished ones you can buy. But, um, you know, plenty of parking around there. They have a mini golf also. Um, and, and they have, um, they have some bathrooms there. You know, I, they have, I saw porta pots this time down at the beach. I think there's other bathrooms too, but there was definitely porta pots. And there is like a, you know, a beach there. It's like a, not a o real ocean beach. It's not like big waves or anything like that. It's actually it's good for somebody that wants to go to war, but doesn't want to actually deal with waves. So, uh, again, uh, you know, it's a great location to visit, easy to find, just Google search Sunset Beach in South Jersey, and it's, if you're in Cape May, it only takes about 10 minutes to get over, Cape May's on the, on the ocean side, the peninsula's kind of very narrow at that point, in fact, if you're taking the New Jersey Turnpike, am I saying it right, Parkway, New Jersey Parkway, it's like, you know, it's, all the way down, get off at exit zero. You know, it, it, I think there is actually exit zero. Get off at zero and, uh, you know, it, it's right around there. So again, I hope you enjoyed the uh, the short video. I kind of, I you know, you, you always saw I narrated the video. So um, any any questions or comments, uh, leave them down below. Um, you know, I'll, I'll get back to you eventually. Sorry, sometimes I get backed up in the comments. And uh, don't forget to, um, you know, the usual the usual uh, stuff I always say here. Like the video with a thumbs up if you got anything out of it. Subscribe to the channel. Uh, ring the bell notification. Uh, you know, help, help the channel out by leaving me, you know, a couple shekels there with the, the thanks button or whatever. It's right near the other buttons. You could contribute as little dollar, as little as a dollar ninety nine to the channel. Helps me out tremendously. So um, that's it, and we will see you on the next one, folks.